Well, good evening and thank you for joining us on Eliza P3. The new director of the Department of Children and Family Services says she is working to fix systemic issues in the department. But some child advocates say these problems need to be fixed now. Fox Illinois' Julia Rosier spoke with a child advocate and she joins us now with more. Julia. Eliza, that's right. DCFS Director Heidi Miller testified in a juvenile courtroom in Cook County last Thursday about some of the issues that the department is facing with children being kept in facilities like psychiatric hospitals longer than necessary. The Cook County Public Guardian tells me that he's also seeing this trend as well. I've been doing this work for 32 years, and in 32 years, um, the placement shortage has never been as severe. Last week, the Department of Children and Family Services Director Heidi Miller testified in juvenile court on issues the department is facing with children being held in psychiatric hospitals longer than medically necessary. Miller has been the director for about two months. She told a Cook County judge that there will be improvements made by the end of the calendar year. I'm not naive to think it's going to happen in two months, but she made a promise by the end of the year. And I've written it down in my calendar and I plan to hold her to that promise. Goldbert says in 2023, 330 children remained in psychiatric hospitals beyond medical necessity for an average of about three months. The average age was 12. That's horrible. Three months, depending on the timing, you're going to lose at least one semester of school. And depending on the timing, that could result in your losing an entire year of school. DCFS told us that with the $100 million in capital grant funding, the department will provide investments across the state for new and expanded residential beds and housing for youth. DCFS also told us they're expanding programs that support youth needs at home and promoting guardianship resources. I think that's great. I think the $100 million investment in our children um, is fantastic, but we have to see that translated into actual improved outcomes for kids. Goldberg also told me that in 2023, there were over 1,000 incidents involving 943 children where they were kept in a facility beyond medical necessity. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Julia Rosier. Back to you. Thank you, Julia. Goldberg says in 2022, there were 905 children kept longer than medically necessary. And we've been reporting on this issue for years. We filed our first report in 2019. It's part of our Project Illinois series covering the DCFS Project Illinois started after the death of Tanasia Barnes in 2019. Don't miss a video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today for more Central Illinois news.